We've been monitoring a point on a building. We've set a couple of control points, and we've been told we have to relocate the instrument to monitor from a new location. So we've broken down the instrument, moved it over. We just finished leveling it, setting it up. We're going to turn it back on, and we're going to reestablish ourselves in the grid that we had established for the other instrument location. Turn on the instrument and follow the instructions to tilt the telescope. Using the Menu button, open up a job. We want an existing job, so we will select the job we had open previously. Press the station key, number 7, which brings up the station screen. We are going to use the Known Line method, which is option 7 in the submenu. After selecting, the instrument requests us to input point 1. The first point we want to use is control point 20, which has been previously saved, so we'll enter point number 20. A dialog box displays the coordinates for this point. After verifying that these are the correct coordinates, press Enter. The instrument then requests the height of target, which in our case is zero, because we're using a non-prism mode to shoot a known object. The instrument then tells you to sight on point 1 and press the measure key. It comes back with the readings for that location based on where the instrument is now set up. It tells you to press Enter to continue, so press the Enter key. And now we have two options for how to continue for our second point. We can do it by angle or by coordinate. For this option we're going to use by coordinate. We're going to enter another control point, number 30, that we know the coordinates of, and the instrument displays the coordinates for that point. Again, after verifying the coordinates for that point, press Enter, and the instrument again requests the height of target, which is again zero. It's not a reflector, and will sight on that point. Once sighted on the control point, press the measure key, and press Enter to finish. Our new instrument point location is now recalculated and displayed on the screen. After verifying this new instrument location, press Enter to validate it. It is important to understand that this position is to the center of the instrument, not to the ground, so press Enter to record it. As this is the second instrument point, but not a control point, we number this point 12. If we are interested in recording the station point on the ground and not just the location of the instrument, we will input the height of instrument. But this is one place where error can be introduced into the system, so we suggest not inputting a height of instrument value and keeping the IP2 point at the center of the instrument. The name of this new instrument point is IP2, so we input that into the code line. We are then asked which of the two points the instrument should utilize as a backsight. Pressing the DSP or Change soft key brings up the two points we use to establish our new instrument location. Either point can be used, but it is suggested to use the point to the left of the new instrument location. We are now ready to go back and measure our monitor points. Of course, it is desired that the measurements from the second instrument point will match the measurements from the first instrument point exactly. This is often not the case, and the coordinates are typically a couple hundredths of a foot off. These new coordinates should be noted in both the monitor form and field book, with a comment detailing that they were obtained from a new instrument location.